okay so before i get into this review i just want you guys to understand that he has the best curling in the game if not probably he is the best curler of the game so just eat sleep curl repeat uh, all you need to do with him as long as you're at the right place curl it in whip whip nation what's going on shark gaming here back with another video and in today's video i'll be reviewing the new 97 rated perlo i don't know how you guys pronounce it i can't pronounce him perlo some people say Pirlo. yeah i pronounce him how i want to pronounce him you guys can tell me how you pronounce him in the comment section below that's how you know we all differ in different ways obviously but yeah um thank you guys for helping me to reach 5,000 subscribers i just reached it i think yesterday so thank you for all of that i didn't really expect to reach here especially you know a year ago i only had about 100 odd subscribers so that's actually a huge improvement to last year so i'm forever grateful to all of you guys and hopefully we can aim for even higher you know hopefully next year we'll be at 100,000 subscribers maybe that's not too much to ask but yeah um don't forget to you know follow me on instagram shark underscore yt i'm at 190 odd followers so i'm almost there i'm gonna start posting on instagram more often and yeah so just help me on shark underscore yt and don't forget to join the discord which it has 240 members we're trying to reach at least a thousand members before the year is over so don't forget to join the discord and when you join the discord please press access server so that you know you can react to something and you can be able to see all the messages don't just go in there and think that there are no messages because people are actually in there talking but yes enough talking ironically without further ado let's get into the review so with Perlo now, what you guys need to understand that he's a defensive midfielder. With defensive midfielders, most people really expect them to really just intercept with the ball and go forward. I'm going to really just explain to you guys how his uh, physical abilities really work in terms of interception, stamina and speed and a little bit more. First, you guys need to know that he's an orchestrator. An orchestrator is actually a player who sits deep and initiates all the attack. So hence why you know he has to be very good at winning the ball. Sadly, he's not really that good at winning the ball. As we look here, his stats, if you know, if you look at it properly, he's going to say ball winning is 74, his, def his defensive awareness is 80, and his aggression is 73. So all in all, it's not really that amazing, but he can intercept the ball. He, he's a little bit aggressive, you know, so he can do a job. But what I actually recommend for you guys to do is playing beside a player who actually knows how to defend properly. So if you have a two-man midfielder or a three-man midfielder, always having an uncommon in in the formation as you guys can see here i have an anchor man in the formation an anchor man is somebody who basically sits really really deep and is very good at intercepting the ball as well as he's probably the first line of defense in terms of the midfield and he's gonna sit deeper than perlo so that actually allows for him to go forward if needs be and if he gets beaten because majority of the time perlo is just there really to um pressure somebody so when he's pressuring the opponent's player that is when matic or fabino or whosoever your anchor man because there are a lot of them there are a lot of them, I just don't know the name. Even the other day, I got one named S. Brown. I think he's right here, actually. Yeah, they're actually very good. They're all Anchorman. They, they can be used. And then the Anchorman just clean up and tackles. That's what I think happens. So, yeah, um, interception. He can intercept the ball really, really well. But as I said, he's there mostly to really just cause pressure. You know, close down space while Matic or the other Anchorman just does all the work. With his passing ability, he's very good. He has 99 lofted pass and he has 99 uh short pass so at the end of the day if we look here right here you you're gonna be seeing it that uh his passing is actually very amazing so it doesn't really matter what you want to do and that's why he's perfect for the orchestrator role because more than likely his passes are going to be very accurate as long as you're aiming in the right direction and you know the player is obviously in some nice space you can do that and he has the weighted passing the pinpoint crossing he has a, a lot of different types of passing the through passing trade so at the end of the day you can use him up you can put one straight through ball through the middle of the field not saying a long ball or anything but technically a ground ball is a long ball as well i'm not telling you guys to constantly spam or whatever but Perlo is actually very good to be using a counter-attacking formation especially when you need a nice little ball to a winger or <coughs> a striker up top Perlo is the man for you so as it relates to that now that's basically what happens his stamina could be a little bit more but at the end of the day it's, it's in the 80s that's pretty decent what you guys can do if you don't have a problem because if you're using a counter-attacking formation then obviously he might be a little bit tired by about the 70th to about the 90th minute so you may just need to put another orchestrate on the bench maybe skulls or whatever just have another midfielder there just ready just in case but 
Moving on to free kicks. I haven't really taken any free kicks with him because I've been busy, but I need to get this review for you guys. So I went to the training ground and did a few free kicks. Just a little basics. What you guys need to understand is that you can score free kicks different types of ways with him. You can go over the wall, you can do curlers, and you can do the outside curler. What you guys need to understand is that with all of these, all you have to do is line up the ball with the post, as you guys should see in the videos that I'm showing you. Line it up with the post and just simply curl around and just do the complete opposite for the outside curl up. I hope that the video is actually just explaining for you guys. He can be used for set pieces as well. I use him for set pieces, especially uh, for corners, and he's amazing. Whether it wants to be from the left side or the right side, you can use him on both sides. As I said, he has a 99 free kick and he has 99 um, corner taking ability. So at the end of the day, you have a higher chance of scoring with him if you're using him, Beckham, Robert, Carlos, etc. So just use him and arguably he's probably the best curler in the game as well as the best free kick taker in the game so why not use him and i'm not really a free kick person per se but if i get a free kick more than like i'm gonna score with him because it's pearl and i know how to score a free kick with him so yeah uh, everybody's different of course but yeah uh there's not really much to really say about that. everybody knows about his amazing um free kick ability and the best formations to really use him in are just formations that you can add another midfielder to really support him. So as you guys can see on my screen right now, I'm using Hansi Flick. You can use him there. You can use a 4-3-3 flat with him being in the middle or preferably on a side actually. You can have the anchor man in the middle and you can put him over to a side. That way he can drift to the wings and if he goes over to the wings, he can always cross in the ball properly. So what I need you guys to understand is that this card is not the end all be all in terms of cards. He's not the best card in the game. But what you guys need to understand is that when you're using this card, just test out the, the curling because his, his weak foot accuracy is four out of four that means that he can do just the same as he does with his right foot on his left foot and he uses his weak foot or he can use his weak foot 75 percent of the time that's three out of four to me that's very amazing and i think you guys should just use and abuse it i think if you guys want to score with him the easiest way to score with him is just curl the ball once you're in a position to curl the ball you do that he has the one time shot as well so you can use that as well and if you're gonna do that you just shoot straight that's all you have to do just shoot straight but once you're at an angle just curl it in literally some people just like how i told you guys about the dennis law video where you just tap the ball and it goes into the goal just curl the ball with pearl and more than likely it's gonna score you gonna get that corner or um the keeper boxes it out and then you know your striker uh, poaches and scores so at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you want to do. Just make sure that you use up the curlers. And then, you know, if it doesn't score, it goes for a corner. You just do the corner trick because it does work. You use the corner trick, bam, goal. So at the end of the day, it's a win-win in my book. So I really hope that I really explained this card to you guys. 100%, I really hope that I helped you guys to really understand what's happening with this card. He's not really the best card in the world. But if you have him, use him. He can be of good assistance to you. But if you don't like using orchestrators, because not everybody likes using orchestrators, because you have Zabi Alonso, you have Scholes, I think Matthias is one as well. Not everybody wants to use orchestrators, to be completely honest. But if you're going to use an orchestrator, Perlo is the guy, because he serves more than one purpose, of course, and he can do just as good as anybody else. And quite frankly, I've never really seen a, a card with as good as range of passing as Perlo. But yeah. Hope you guys understood this video. I'm Shark Gaming, and I'm out.